Good morning students welcome to my video lecture on module 2 lecture 3c manufacturing of aramid fibers this is a part of the postgraduate course fabrication and processing of advanced composites me61011 i am nilanjan das chakladar of mechanical engineering department iit kharagpur in this particular talk we'll look into aramid fibers manufacture and applications So manufacturing of aramid fibers. Kevlar is the most common of a few commercially available aramid fiber types. This is because we have heard the name of Kevlar fiber, Kevlar uh, composite, but these are nothing but derivatives of aramid fiber. Okay, that's a type of aramid fiber. In 1971, this is first used in car applications as a reinforcement. Now, so how the word aramid comes? So aramid, aromatic polyamide. Do not forget this. So aramid is aromatic polyamide, which is a liquid polycrystalline polymer. Okay. So how does it form? So 1,4-phenylene diamine in one position and four position there is amine. So 1,4-phenylene diamine when is added to terephthaloyl chloride when added to terephthaloyl chloride HCl is removed so 2 HCl HCl from NH with the Cl's what we get is Kevlar okay so this N means these are the repeating units okay similarly here as well okay so coming to manufacturing of aramid fibers so we begin with polymer powder in a sulfuric acid solution going through a filter pack then a meter pump then through spinneret at 80 degrees celsius we pull it and then gradually stretch it and in uh, wind it in a take up spool so this is the precipitation bath okay which is one degree centigrade of water so what is solution spinning so it is the sizing of the fibers are not essential as the fibers are not brittle so that's why the step sizing is not there so we can spin right in the solution itself then there is a heat treatment and tensioning which results in crystallinity and rigid molecular structure okay so tensioning if you notice in all the fiber production there is tensioning so that that can impart the elastic modulus the longitudinal elastic modulus and can increase the degree of crystallinity the types and forms of aramid fibers so there are three types of aramid fibers k29 k49 and k129 they have different applications asbestos replacement which is high toughness then high modulus cables and ropes and high tenacity for ballistic applications that means for impact typical diameter of aramid fiber is 12 microns okay now coming to advantages so toughness and damage tolerance high moderate temperature tolerance good electrical and corrosion resistance disadvantage longitudinal strength in comparison is a fraction of that in tension fiber matrix compatibility is poor and moisture sensitivity is high that means just like glass fiber the moisture sensitivity of kevlar is also higher tough aramid is difficult to cut and machine and it is costly applications impact prone areas of aircraft for example the aircraft nose or the leading edges of wing so they are given a kevlar reinforcement then ballistic armor for the impact impact resistance and then sporting goods so summary we have already seen the manufacturing of glass fibers carbon fibers aramid fibers so let us see the differences between the e-glass fibers particularly carbon fibers and aramid fibers so tensile strength it's 3.4 gigapascals carbon fibers tensile strength 4.1 gigapascal and aramid fiber 2.7 density 2 2660 kg per meter cube carbon fibers are lighter 15800 aramid fibers are even lighter than carbon fibers this is something to notice okay they are not as stiff as carbon fibers but 
they are lighter than the carbon fibers. So strength to weight ratio, what is that? You just divide this one by this one. So 1.296 that is for the e-glass fibers, 2.612 that is for the carbon fibers, aramid fibers 1.914. That means, so this is what we call as specific strength. Okay, so as per specific strength, carbon fiber has the maximum strength per unit density. Then comes aramid, then comes glass. This is very important to remember. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please add my playlist, video lectures of FPSE ME 61011 and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to read the description below. Thank you.